Even before the rain and cold arrived for our latest winter storm, high winds made its not so welcome return to the Bay Area. Arborist Robert Apollinar says that means we could see a lot more downed trees. Unlike our January storms, evergreen trees may be most at risk because it's not the rain that's the biggest concern, it's this wind. The rain is more going down and a light push, some extra weight, but the wind, you know, it can spin, it can come from different angles, so certainly puts stress on the roots, the roots, and if the tree's weak, it'll pull it right over. We've already seen examples of that today, up and down the peninsula and across the region, trees ripped down by gusty conditions. That includes in Redwood City, where this Toyota Tundra was crushed, some of the trees pulling down power lines along with them. That puts PG&E on high alert over the coming days. As in with the previous storms, we expect the peninsula and the South Bay and the Central Coast to see outages. Uh, we predict in the thousands. After the region saw mass outages in January, they are not taking any chances for this storm. PG&E stockyard in San Jose was filled with replacement power lines, poles and transformers. We are uh, staging our crews. We are preparing uh, for uh, deploying our resources, whether it's crews, materials, anything that we need to restore power to our customers over the next few days. PG&E says there are simple steps to prepare for outages like having batteries ready and phones charged. But tree preparation is much harder and it's too late for the preventative work. Apollinar says looking out for warning signs of trees that may be prone to failure, like dead branches or limbs that stretch away from the trunk, may be the best way to prepare for what's to come. Now you're just relying on the tree, hoping it, you know, it does what it's supposed to, hoping it holds up. So for me, I don't park under trees. Uh, I would suggest you do the same.